How you been doing over there? Okay.
Yeah, yeah, before. It's a nice mate, though. Yeah, it's nice. Can I do? I don't think I can do anything, right? I can't do anything. Yeah, I think, uh, take care. But then you get this. Yeah. But I take. I take. You take. And I go over. I, I take. Check. Uh, take. Do I have a pawn here? No, take. A pawn. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, this, these are these are. Yeah, good. Pawn well, takes. you take. Take here. I go here. You might want to throw in a check here, by the way. Yeah. Well, you can't take with the king. Well, I know I can't take with the king, so I go now here. Now, now you throw in the check. check. Yeah. And then, That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Hey guys, Brent here, and a beautiful mate by Kai here with a night. I don't know, there's something about night mates that are so damn satisfying. Taking advantage of the pin, and this night covering these two squares. It kind of reminds me of the uh, the mate that Kevin had against Alan like a week ago. That was beautiful, and this one is beautiful as well. Nicely done, Kai. I know some of you were shouting at the screen, going to move back. This is why the most dangerous moment comes before winning in the game. We had mate for white and then mate for black. Back-to-back -back mates. That is insane, right? I hope you guys saw. We'll cover that in the analysis as well as Carl's post-game analysis as well as a cool line I want to show you for black that was missed. But that was a beautiful mate by Kai. Nicely done. If you guys want to get him coffee for that sick night mate, his link is in the video description. And let's figure out Carl's mate here. In the game, we had queen f2. Let's go move back. Pause video. It's very easy to go into defense mode when you're being swarmed, right? But you gotta look for the counterattack, the checks first. So what is the move for white here? Yes, I kinda give it away with the checks. It is queen d7, check. Only a move for the king is back. Check here. Obviously if you block, then just queen mate. So going over here, if you hop out, rook check, and guess what? The bishop covering this escape square. Wow. Ooh. Mate in three. Oh man. Can you imagine like if you played this game in a tournament setting like with like two hours and everything and then you go back and you put it and you analyze and you see that you miss mate right before your opponent mates you. Oh, that's got to hurt, right? Oh, but it's very, very hard to see when you're the one playing, especially when you're being swarmed like this. It's like you just go into defensive mode here and you just don't look for the, uh, the checks and the counterattack. So very, very easy to fall for that. And going over here, I think this is, was the line that Carl was analyzing, but we get to this position, and in the game, Carl decides to move the king over, but let's go move back. This actually leads to force mate, so what will be another move for white here? Yes, block with the queen, right? And But inevitably, you're just going to swap off, and this could be one continuation, and... Black is still winning at negative 5.7, but at least you have chances here. We've seen Carl come back from worse in this position, so who knows what might have happened, right? So, But I just want to point out that one line. And going over here, I want to show you a cute line that was missed. In the game, we had Rook AD1, and then we had G4. Let's go move back. will be another move for Black here. Yes, you have Knight H4 doubling up. Ah, but then you fall for the fork, right? Aha, but you have this with a check first. And let's say king h2, and now you can play knight back here, and this knight defended by this bishop, and computer has black winning at negative 2.4. But last, it was a great game by Kai, and I liked how he um, kept it flexible, pushed the king side, castled queen, and threw all his pieces up over here, and came up with that beautiful, beautiful knight mate to finish it off there at the end, but just goes to show you the most dangerous moment comes before winning, right? So just when you think you've got it won, you got to double check, make sure you didn't leave the back door open, um, but it's hard to see when you're the one playing. Outsider sees everything. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe at the bell notification. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.